Okay, so this question is asking, in a collision between two unequal masses, which mass receives a greater magnitude impulse? So it's kind of asking us about uh, a different law of co conservation, which is just the law of conservation of momentum. So to think about this, um, we need to also know kind of Newton's third law. Um, so for kind of every action, um, every action force, uh, there's an equal and opposite reaction force. So if we had the equation for impulse is as follows. So F1, T1 needs to be equal to F2, T2. So we know because of uh, Newton's third law of motion that for every action force there's an equal and opposite reaction force. So equal and opposite meaning the same magnitude but in the opposite direction. Um, we know that this force will have a negative. And going from there we can uh, um, Kind of take a look at this. So we know let's let's say we define there is a, a final velocity and there's an initial velocity. We would see that if we had F equals MA, we would get M, so initial velocity, or sorry, final velocity minus initial velocity over T, and then this would give us FT is equal to MV minus U, which would be equal to MV minus MU. So and this uh, this let me just clear up some space over here. So this this just kind of shows how um, kind of the co conservation of momentum happens. So here, since we have uh, this this equation up here, and since we know f1 and f2 are the same, um, we know that the total momentum will be conserved um, for the colliding objects. So the so let me write out the equation for so for the first m1 v1 minus m1 u1 so this is for the first object colliding will be equal to the negative of m2 v2 minus m2 u2 so so both the impulses are equal and opposite. So therefore, because that's the case, we know that there's a conservation of momentum. And we kind of just used this, this equation down here, and we applied it to kind of two objects. So this, this component is equivalent to this component because of the conservation of momentum, and kind of this equ equation represents that. So here, um, which mass receives a greater magnitude impulse is the question. So because the um, um, because uh, that there's um, because of Newton's third law, there's a there's an action force and there's a reaction force and they're equal in magnitude. We know that they're both kind of masses have an equal impulse applied to them, and there's a conservation of momentum. So that kind of answers that question. So there's no mass that has a greater magnitude than the other. They both have the same impulse applied to them. Okay, so let's look at the uh, um, attempted solution. In a collision between two unequal masses, which mass receives a greater magnitude impulse? Impulse is also defined as a change in momentum of an object. Impulse, so they show you the equation of impulse, which we have up here. And then M1, V1, uh, so that's the equation. Since the law of conservation states that total momentum remains conserved or the sum of initial momentum of colliding objects is equal to the sum of the final momentum. So that's the case here. Both the impulses are equal and opposite, thus the impulse is the same for both the objects, which is proved by the law of conservation of momentum. 
So that's a correct answer. So correct answer. Great job.